the ancient rivers of Egypt a new chronic miracle. Scientists have recently proven that the historical places where the pyramids are found in Egypt were one day rich in rivers and forests and this scientific fact hasn't been proven until the mid of 2012 according to a scientific study that lasted for several years. Amazingly, however, the Holy Quran precisely talks about this fact 1400 years ago. All glory to Allah the Almighty. Scientists beliefs about ancient Egypt Scientists believed that the pharaohs built the pyramids in desert regions, same as today's region. This belief, however, has proven wrong for scientists have long searched for the secrets of the pharaohs as well as the secrets behind building the pyramids and have studied and analyzed many inscriptions and manuscripts, but they haven't found a scientific proof to reveal the type of environment that prevailed then. It's known that the pharaohs built their civilization more than 5,000 years ago and they had great power and advanced techniques. They also studied chemistry, mummification, architecture and astrology. Historical studies also reveal that people at that time lived in luxury, delight and welfare and had a convenient environment for progress and prosperity. New Historical and Scientific Studies Researchers say that for the first time they have discovered that climate change is a key ingredient in the collapse of civilizations such as Pharaoh's civilization in ancient Egypt 4000 years ago. According to the Daily Mail edition 29 May 2012, Professor Levi Josen together with a team of researchers conducted an in-depth study that lasted for five years. Through satellite data, they discovered that availability of rivers contributed to the establishment of these ancient civilizations and due to the demise of such rivers, the civilizations also demised and gradually disappeared over thousands of years. In this study, archaeologists connected the prosperity of civilizations to the availability of rivers in a certain region. The Arabian Desert, for instance, which stretched from Egypt to Libya and Algeria for thousands of kilometers, was one day prosperous and rivers flew in it. In a recent study, according to a Daily Mail edition 17th August 2012, researchers analyzed 7,000 years old ancient pollen and charcoal samples and found that climate change and the drought of rivers led to the demise of the ancient Egypt civilization. The U.S. Geological Survey USGS, has revealed that even the mighty builders of the ancient pyramids and despite their strong civilization were unable to respond to a change in climate. The researchers have noticed the increase in charcoal levels at the time of drought due to fires. They also found large reductions of pollen signifying far fewer plants grew in that area. Professor Benjamin Houghton of Pennsylvania University confirms that the events that underwent ancient Egypt, including civilization, prosperity, climate change, the demise of rivers, as well as the demise of the civilization, all such events are accurately recorded on the coal atoms and pollen grains and other microscopic creatures. And if it weren't for these records, we wouldn't have been able to know all these past events. All glory to Allah, the exalted who preserve this information on the charcoal and pollen attempts and if it weren't for them, we could have never been able to know history of this region. But Allah, who entrusted this data in the charcoal attempts, is the same God who talks about it in the Holy Quran. Now, having examined these scientific studies which were first presented in 2012, let's contemplate the Holy Quran and the Hadith sayings of Prophet Muhammad وسلم, and how the Holy Quran talked about this scientific fact 14 centuries ago and see whether the Holy Quran is inconsistent with science or not. The Holy Quran talks about the story of the Pharaoh of Egypt and the luxury he enjoyed and the graces and the good that Allah granted him in more than one verse. But the Pharaoh disbelieved in Allah the Almighty and was arrogant Thus Allah punished him for his sins and drowned him, Allah says in the Holy Quran. And the Pharaoh proclaimed among his people, saying, O my people, does not the dominant of Egypt belong to me? Witness these streams flowing underneath my palace. What? See you not then? 
the miracle is in Allah saying, these streams flowing, which is an indication to the reverse of ancient Egypt, a fact that wasn't known at the time of Quranic revelations. Archaeologists affirm that the ancient Egypt was rich in farms, plants and fruit trees at the time of the pharaohs and they have come to this conclusion through the huge and miscellaneous amounts of pollen which they found hidden in the desert sands for 7000 years. Such scientific fact is also revealed in the Holy Quran in the verse that talk about the story of the pharaoh and how Allah the Great expelled him from the luxury he enjoyed, Allah the Almighty says in the Quran. So we expel them from gardens, springs, treasures and every kind of honorable position. If we contemplate the above verse where it says gardens, springs will find a very obvious indication to the existence of springs and gardens, a fact that has been proven today by archaeologists. The new study affirms that the Arabian desert in North Africa is in the only place where civilizations prosper due to rivers, forests and meadows for there is a region in the empty quarter desert in the Arabian Peninsula that had a network of rivers and civilizations that were buried beneath the desert sand. There is a great hadith saying for Prophet Muhammad which constitutes a prophetic miracle in which he asserts that the Arabian Peninsula was rich in rivers and meadows. Prophet Muhammad said the day of judgment won't take place until the land of the Arabs returns to being pasture and reverse, narrated by Imam Muslim. Scientific research says that climate cycle moves from one region to another after a certain period of time. It will rain heavily in the empty quarter region which will make the rivers to be formed and the plants to grow just as they were 5000 years ago. Scientists say that one of the key events that had a negative impact on ancient Egypt was the drought which struck Egypt 4200 years ago and caused famines and played a role in the demise of the kingdom of ancient Egypt. The waves of the drought started to prevail in ancient Egypt continuously until they exhausted people. The beginning of such waves might have been almost 4200 years ago. Here we recall the story of Prophet Joseph, peace be upon him, as it's told in the Holy Quran and the famine he predicted which he interpreted the king's dream Allah the exalted says in the Holy Quran. Then will come after that period seven dreadful years which will devour what you shall have laid by in advance for them all except a little which you shall have specially guarded. The question that needs to be answered is how did Prophet Muhammad know about this famine which took place thousands of years ago and talked about it if he went the Messenger of Allah. Finally, let's wonder how did Prophet Muhammad know that the Pharaoh lived in a non-desert environment although the environment in which Prophet Muhammad lived was a desert in the Arabian Peninsula and even the environment of the pyramids was also a desert at the time of Quranic revelations. How did he know that this region was rich in rivers? In fact, these verses prove the Quranic inimitability at this time and in today's world and constitutes a scientific response to all those who claim that the Holy Quran is a book of legends. This also raised the question of why did Prophet Muhammad discuss such intricate scientific issues while he didn't really need to do so. This means one thing which is that that the Holy Quran is the word of Allah in which he revealed these facts to serve as a practical evidence of the truthfulness of the message of Islam. So brothers and sisters, this was an amazing miracle of the Holy Quran and the Prophet Muhammad Please share this video as much as you can because our Muslim Ummah needs these kind of videos so that their Iman get boosted. And also for the non-Muslim brothers and sisters, they may also realize the only truthful religion is Islam. Allahu Akbar. Until next time, wa alaikum as -salam. Subscribe our Sense Islam YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video.
أشاك أن يبقى هشيما مربعي